What's up y'all, now look. There's a very good chance that you have all heard of the company Algo Expert, which is supposed to help you prep for your coding interviews so that you can land jobs in big tech company or really whatever dream company that you have. And so as somebody that used the platform religiously, I would like to give an honest review today. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I thought it might be good to help you decide whether this platform is worth it for you. Hi, my name is Logan. I'm a software engineer at Microsoft. And on this channel, I help people like you land jobs in big tech and dominate once you do. So today we're gonna to be checking out this platform. I'll discuss the pros and the cons. I'll tell you whether I think it actually helped me land the job at Microsoft. And finally, of course, I will give you a conclusion on is this worth it for you? So let's jump into this. All right, so if we head onto the platform, we can see we have this option to buy it here. And let's check out the price, first of all. Okay, so if we select Algo Expert, we see it's $99. Maybe there's a promo code named Clem, not found. I'm sure it's case sensitive. Yes, okay, so if you type in Clem, it gets you a clean 10 bucks off. And so this is $89 for a year. And this is actually where my first con comes up. Not necessarily that the price is too much, although there are free options out there, but just the fact that you don't have a monthly subscription option. So I really think that they should do a better job of allowing you to opt for a shorter contract than locking into a year and letting that be a cheaper option, especially since a lot of people are only prepping for their interviews for two to three months anyway. I think that that would be a lot more beneficial to us as candidates if we could just pick this platform up for a month or two. And so all in all, $89 isn't like horrible, but it's not like it's nothing either. So it's definitely something to be considered. Okay, so if we come up to the content, let's jump into the main part of this platform, which are the technical interview questions. So this is pretty cool. So you can group it by difficulty, category, or randomly. And I do wish that on this difficulty category, they would tell you like what makes an easy and easy, a medium, a medium, a hard, a hard, et cetera. So if they had just like a little snippet, cause I've had a few people that tried this platform out and they asked me like, what kind of interviews, like what degree of difficulty can I expect to get in my actual interview of these questions? And I couldn't really tell them based on the platform. It was kind of difficult. I had to go in and actually know what some of these were from Lee code or my own interviews to kind of give them a gauge. So that'd be cool if they just added that. I do like that they have by category here and and one of the big pros that I'll mention now is just the curation of questions. So as I record this video today, there are 160 questions. And yes, mine does say 0%. That's because my time ran out on the platform actually, but I did complete quite a few of these questions. And so that's why I wanted to make this video. But today there are 160 questions on the platform and they just do an amazing job of curation. I've seen a ton of these on like other really popular curation lists like Blind75, but they also add a ton of their own questions that they just think are really important. And I really feel like it does a good job like covering the scope of what we need to know for big tech interviews. And obviously they have a team of people who have been successful in these types of interviews. So I think that that is like a huge plus to this platform is just that they give you a really nice curated list, right? And so if we jump on to a question, so this is the interface. I think that this is just so clean. You can have a quad layout like here or try layout if you like a little more minimalist vibe. I've heard some people say that they wanted even more minimalist than this. Personally, I think it's like really clean. I like the fact that it's all in one. It's just like all right here for you. You can pick your programming language. They actually have a good amount to choose from right now. They have nine. If you know me at all, you know I'm just rolling right over to Python. Um, I think that this is really nice in the solution window that you have one, two, and three. I'm a big proponent of selling people, like especially if you struggled on a problem, come back later and give it another shot. And so it's cool that you don't have to completely erase your past work to just go ahead and do a new submission on that. This is really an important part right here. They have a stopwatch slash timer. I think this is awesome. I think you should always be timing yourself on these questions. It's gonna really help you out on game day. And so that's really cool that they have the timer there for you to just go ahead and do that. Um, of course, you have your area where you can read the question. You can see some sample input and output. The hints are really cool. So if you don't feel like you're getting anywhere after a few minutes, you can go ahead and give yourself a hint and they usually have two to three of these. Just be aware that usually when you do the last hand, it's gonna pretty much tell you how to solve the problem. So just understand that before clicking on it. They also give you the optimal time and space complexity, which I think is awesome. And sometimes like I'll use that as a hint even, and you can try to see, okay, this they're expecting this to be solved in constant space as you can see right here. Okay, let me start thinking towards that direction. It can kind of give you a hint as well of what to do. 
And then over here, you can just, you know, you can run your code. Uh, I failed all of them. I didn't have any code in here, that's okay. But it's actually cool because you can see what the expected output is and what your code actually output. And you can see the raw output as well. So if you had like some errors in here, uh, then they would come up in the raw output, which is pretty cool. You can also like look at the test cases if you want. So you can kind of give yourself an idea of what you should be looking for, like what kind of inputs are actually going into this. And another really cool part is the scratch pad. So actually oftentimes I would do a ton of my like plan on the scratch pad because it's just like a little more minimalist vibe and that's what you're gonna be usually doing on the day of the interviews. Or I would just do the classic doc strings and you know write my plan inside of that window. And so I do recommend that. Um, they also do have a whiteboard mode. And so that's pretty cool. So you can get rid of the syntax highlighting if you want or you can keep it and you can pick the kind of syntax highlighting you want. They have a you know light theme. I don't know why you would do that, but hey, you know, to each your own, to each your own, but I'm definitely going for the dark theme. And they have a data structure visualizer, which is honestly seriously dope. So I think that the interface is awesome. Definitely a pro to this platform. And here we're gonna get to the absolute best part of everything. Yes, that's the video explanations. I mean, these are seriously top notch, like, Wow, they are so good. Clem is just such an amazing teacher. And honestly, this is really why you buy the platform in my opinion, because if you're going to get it and you just want somebody that can just explain the concepts extremely well, Clem is definitely your guy. They also have a new instructor. So this could be a con because Tech with Tim, he also teaches quite a few of these questions now. I already knew who that was when I bought this and when he came on board, I actually really liked him and I liked his teaching style as well. So for me, it was actually kind of a plus to get like some new blood in there to hear it just from a different type of experience instructor, but if you're getting this platform just because you love Clem, just know that there are some other teachers on there too. Although I think Clem still does like a hundred questions or something like that. So that's pretty cool. The other like awesome thing is that they always do the time and space complexity analysis. And so I think that's really important. They do spend a good amount of time. We all need to be saying that in all of our interviews. So they spend a good amount of time going through that, which I think is perfect. And then they will do a code walkthrough. So the code walkthroughs are only in Python. And so for somebody that doesn't use Python, that could be kind of annoying and that could definitely be a con, so you could consider that. But I do think, you know, Python's usually pretty readable and it will probably make sense and you'll be able to transcribe that into your language of choice. And the other thing is that in all their solutions, they do allow you to choose a different language, right? And see the solution in whatever language of your choice. And so I think that that's really cool and it kind of makes up for it. And they also will usually give a couple different solutions, like solution one, two, sometimes even three, and show you the different ways to solve these problems. And so that's the entire interface. And you can see it's just like pretty clean, all in one. I definitely think that they did a good job there. And so let's look at some of the other parts of the platform. Okay, so they have this data structures crash course. This is actually a really cool idea, and I'm glad they did that. I do wish it was still even a bit more in depth. You know, you can see some of these, like the duration of these are nine minutes, eight minutes. I mean, some of them get like a bit longer, 37 minutes and such, but if they went even like a bit further into depth on these, I think that would be cool. Now I do want to point out that they do have like a few questions. Okay, so like link list construction they do. Um, I think they do a few more min heap construction. They have uh, binary search tree construction. So they are actually trying to do a few implementations of data structures as well. But if they would gone to depth in that in the videos, I think that would be really cool. But you know, this is just like a free add on to the platform. And so it does do a really good job giving a high level overview, especially if you're already like a computer science student or you're coming from like a software engineering background to where you understand these types of data structures. But it could be kind of hard to just come onto the platform and learn data structures only from this and jump into the problems although that is what i would do if i were you even if i was starting from scratch might be a little difficult at first but i think that it would still get the job done and i like that they have this on here the other really awesome thing is this bonus content here the behavioral interview prep and you know if you've seen any of clem's youtube videos you know that he's just an extremely personable guy and he just has like a really good way of answering these types of questions and so it's really cool that he decided to put this in here create all these videos and just allow you to get a glimpse of how to be successful in these types of questions honestly i don't really have a big knock here except that maybe i just want more questions but that's just me being kind of selfish it's cool that he actually took the time to do this in the first place 
And so that was the entirety of what they offer on the platform. I will quickly brush over the cons and the pros again, and then I will tell you whether I thought it helped me land my role at Microsoft and whether I think the platform is worth it overall. And so the first con is the fact that they don't offer a monthly subscription. I really wish that they would fix this and let you take it for only two to three months or something like that instead of having to lock in for the entire year. Another con is the fact that all of the code walkthroughs are only in Python. They do mitigate this a bit, I think, by giving you solutions in all the languages that are on the platform, but it would be cool if we had some video explanations of those as well, but that might get kind of difficult, so I totally get why they just chose to implement them in Python. Another thing is that if you are coming onto the platform only to be taught by Clem, just know that there are other instructors, mainly tech with Tim on the platform, although I think he's really good as well. If you just wanna see Clem, that's not going to happen. And the last con I have is that I wish they would have just gone even a bit more into depth in the data structures section, just to give a complete look at what you need to know for technical interviews all in one place. Now the pros are that they have an amazing curation of questions, 160 of them, that is really awesome. Also the interface is just so clean. I love how it's all in one. They give you the stopwatch. They let you pick it and make it your own. So I think that that's really cool. They at least touch on all the aspects of the technical interview. So they do still give the data structures crash course, which does give a nice high level overview of the data structures. And they have the behavioral interview section. And of course the technical interview questions themselves. So I think they do an amazing job with that. And of course the most amazing part of the platform, the video explanations. Guys, these are just so top notch. Clem is an amazing teacher. So is Tech with Tim for that matter and they just do an amazing job telling you exactly what you need to know in order to crush your interviews and so that is just the best part of the platform that's really why you buy this thing and so now I want to touch on whether I believe that this actually helped me in my technical interviews to pass Google and Microsoft and the answer is 100% honestly I was getting interviews before I had even taken data structures or algorithms and this platform taught me exactly what I needed to know in order to get these types of problems. And before I was really struggling with lead code and then I came here and the video explanations were just that good and I was able to start to conquer these problems. It gave me a lot of confidence and it was an amazing platform for me personally. In fact, if you haven't seen my video about how to prepare for technical interviews, I'll link it like right here or something like that. I actually recommend getting Algo Expert as one of your top resources in that video. And so you can just tell right there that I really do believe in the product and I believe it helped me. Which brings me to my conclusion, which is probably very obvious at this point. Definitely, I believe the platform is worth it, but it does have some drawbacks and you can get a lot of this information for free. Like you could go on Nico.io, another platform I recommend, and it is completely free and they have video solutions there and they have 150 questions, 75 of which are the blind 75. And so, yeah, I think that it's just a really good platform as well. And you could do your mock interviews through Cramp and you could use LeetCode and get the crowdsource solutions in the discussion section. And so you don't need this platform, but I do think if you you want something that's like all in one, it's all right here, that's pretty much what you're paying for and the video explanations. So if that sounds like it's something that you would be interested in, then I think that this platform is definitely gonna be for you and you should give it a shot. Of course I recommend it, but obviously it to each his own. If you got any value out of this video, please do me a favor, drop me a like, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications so I can continue to bring content just like this. But with that, I am out. And remember, we'll all make it together. Just gotta keep praying.